everybody so now I am back with part two of my scrapbooking expo haul that I did this past weekend in Milwaukee so let me get started and this one should be pretty quick because I don't have that much more to show you I probably could have did this all in one video but anyway I stopped at this booth called polka dots and more And their website is polka dots and more.com. I'm going to put the card right there. But I will put the links, as I said before. And I picked up some more foil. I actually ran into one of the ladies that um, works at the embroidery machine store where I buy all my supplies for my embroidery machine. And we were standing there talking, and she kept looking over her shoulder as she was talking to me. And I finally said, what are you looking at back there? She goes, I'm looking at this foil that is you. I can see you using this. And so I, and she went and got it, and she handed it to me. And I'm like, she's right. I didn't see this when I was standing in the booth, but she spotted it for me. Good looking out for me, Vicki. And then the only other thing that I really went in there and got was this foam adhesive because she was doing, um, there was somebody there doing a demonstration. And she basically took a die cut and cut out using this because it's double sided. And then she took the foil and just laid that on top and rubbed it in. I'm sorry, I shook the camera. So that, I really just got that because I was going to use the other foil that I had. But once... Vicky pointed this out to me. I had to get it. And I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but it's a, what do they call this print? Leopard? Well, I don't know. It's not a leopard. Yeah, they called it leopard. So it's a leopard print. So that's it for there. I was at a booth one booth for almost two hours and the reason why I was at this booth is I've been to this booth every time I go to the scrapbooking show because it's where I purchase my Cherry Lynn dies but this particular time there was a lady there giving a demo her name is Sherry I don't know her last name I don't know if she has a channel or anything but for what she was showing, you could actually have taken a class because she showed so much to do with dyes. Now, I know I have a silhouette, I also have a cricket, and I have the Brother Scan and Cut, but my Brother Scan and Cut I use for fabric cutting and quilting. And my cricket, well, if you've watched my channel, you know how I feel about cricket. I don't want anything to do with them. Now, my silhouette, I love, love, love my silhouette. But I also sometimes don't want to get on the computer and figure out what I want to do in the silhouette. So I have several dies. And I do have a big shot. I have a vagabond. And I have a cuddle bug. And actually, I think I've put my cuddle bug in my um, stuff to be sold at a rummage sale that I'm having this summer. Because I haven't used it since I got the big shot and the vagabond. But, while I was there, like I said, I sat down and I started watching her do these different things with the dies. Now, in my mind, I just use my dies for cutting paper or cardstock. But, she was cutting all kinds of things with these dies. She took a paper bag, gift bag, that she got at the dollar store. And she took one of the dies and made this beautiful frame with this paper to put on a card. Then, what really fascinated me was she made earrings. And what did she make them out of? Let me see if I have one. I actually cut one up last night. She made them out of soda cans. Yes, soda cans. And I cut this can up so that I can try this. I actually cut up. My husband loves caffeine-free Pepsi. I'll show you a bit. I'm going to stick a picture in here 
so you can see how much he loves caffeine free Pepsi but she used this just cut the can in half and you can cut it I cut it with my Tim Holtz scissors and she made earrings using dyes so she had some made out of with this dye and this dye. She had another dye there, but they were out of it, so there was only the sample one there, so I couldn't get it, but I'll probably go on the website. Oh, and I'm sorry, I didn't tell you the name of the place. It is Tesler Stamps Stencil Company. The um, website is scrapbookusaca.com, and there's actually a video, and I'll put a link here in this video, if I don't put it in this video, it'll be down in the description box that um, tells you or shows you how she didn't make earrings, but the, the owner of the company did the video. They actually still use the tin foil, I mean the soda can, but they made, um, they use it to do some, some other type of dye she used to cut. So not the earrings, but. I'm going to be doing earrings because everybody knows how I love jewelry. So, um, just watching the, the things that she was doing, I just got all these ideas. So, she also had this one, and she did a demo with this one, so I picked up that one. And then, I love butterflies, so I picked up this one. Now, I have the Cherry Lynn butterfly dye, but as you know, it came in two pieces where... The you had to take one piece and put it on the fold to get your background, and then you had to take the other piece of cardstock to cut out the top part of the, the butterfly. But what she did was she cut this butterfly here, and then she took some foam sheets. And these foam sheets are not like the typical foam sheets that you buy at Joann's, Michael's, or Hobby Lobby. They're very, very thin. And she put, she used that, the can, and she put in a piece of cardstock and cut out the butterfly. Just, not this one, but this one below here. And you got an embossing effect on here. And then she took the tin the, I keep calling it, well it is a tin can, she took the soda can and cut the die and she cut this all at once. It wasn't cutting everything separate, it was cutting everything at once. And she colored with ink the can. So by the time she got done you never knew that it was a soda can. So I just could not leave the booth. I kept, as a matter of fact, Audrey came through, saw me sitting there, and I think she passed back by there, and I was still sitting there. As a matter of fact, I stopped her because I, I wanted to get her number, and she started telling me about the Gemini that's by Crafter's Companion. It's another die cutting machine, and how it can do so much more than the Vagabond. Now you can't run your thick dies through the Gemini, but you can do the thin the thin dies. And because I'm still having the problem with the turning the handle with my big shot, let me say this, Audrey, you've got me hooked on the Gemini because after you told me that and I came home, I decided to start watching some YouTube videos on the Gemini. And I am a Gemini. I said, I've got to get that thing. I've, I've got to get it. So, thanks, Audrey, for telling me about it. I really appreciate it. So, and then my other die I got was this one. She had some flowers made. Um, as a matter of fact, it was this flower die and these leaves. And it was just gorgeous. So, I finally said, okay, i got to get out of here. Because I actually stopped at this booth. This was my second stop after... I went to the, the booth that had all the Gina K supplies. And I, like I said, I was at that booth for maybe two hours. And then I started thinking, well, I do need to get up and go see the rest of the show. Uh, see what everybody else has got. So I finally got up and left. But before I did, I, bought, I purchased this. And then I purchased a um, Versa marker, 
which, by the way, I didn't need to purchase because I did have one already. And then I pr purchased the clear. So that other one was white. And, and I thought I was buying a clear, but I bought a white. And this one is the clear of the Wink of Stella. And then I finally left there and said, okay, that's it. I've gotten enough. But... I had my husband drop me off so I wouldn't have to pay for parking and I called him when I was ready to leave and he told me to give him 15 minutes and he would be leaving the house and we only live about maybe less than 10 minutes from where the show was being held at. So I thought, okay, now what am I going to do for 10 more for 15 more minutes? Because he's not leaving the house for 15 minutes. And then it'll take him another 10 minutes to get here. So what am I going to do in them 25 minutes? Yep, that's right. I went back to this booth. And I ended up picking up a three-pack of the Wink of Stella brushes. So by the time I got that, it was time to go. But I did, on my way out... Or actually, I think I stopped. I, I did go to one more booth before I went back and picked up the three uh, Wink of Stella's. I went to one more booth. And she was doing a demo. And the company are, is called Elizabeth's Crafts and Designs. And their website is Elizabeth. ElizabethCraftDesigns.com and this is their catalog. I don't know if they are like a Stampin' Up type company or what. I'm not quite sure. But they have some really nice stuff in here and they're located in Evergreen, Colorado. So, and she gave me a really nice bag too for my purchase. But she was doing an actual demo on using glitter. Now, I love glitter, and I have tons of glitter, and I have a lot of the sparkle and sprinkle. And as a matter of fact, when I was talking to Audrey, I told her I wasn't even going to go to the, I think it's sparkle and sprinkle, or it might be sprinkle and sparkle. I wasn't going to go to that booth because I don't need any glitter. But I walked by, as the, um, a person was doing a demo at this booth, and they were actually right across from the sparkle and sprinkle and I said, okay, let me stop and see what she's doing. And what she was doing was, she was, t this is what she did for me. It's, of course, purple. But she was taking double-sided tape, which I bought this wide. And she just cut a piece in squares. And then she took her glitter and poured it in a coffee filter. And then dipped the double-sided tape inside because this is no this one doesn't peel off but this one does this was just a piece of card that she put she put the double-sided tape on a piece of cardstock and then she peeled off the top layer which is all sticky and then she put the glitter so you're probably saying okay well you've got a lot of glitter so what's so different about this well when she put it on it was just a dull color, not really shiny like it is now. Once she got it on, she started rubbing it, and it kept getting brighter and brighter. And what do I like about this glitter? Look at that. I am rubbing this, and nothing is coming off. And there's nothing worse than giving somebody a card that has glitter on it, and they open it up, and glitter is everywhere. And they've got it everywhere. And then... You're scrapbooking or card making, and you're working with glitter, and then you think you've gotten it all off of you. You leave the house, and you find you still got some on your hands, you still got some in your hair, and everywhere else. So, I was just fascinated with this. And then once she did that, she took this little piece that she had here, and she stuck it down on top of this, peeled the pa paper off, and then she added more glitter. And then just rubbed it in. So, what did I do? Yes, I bought some more glitter. So, she had, they had a special, you buy four, you get one free. So, 
I bought the basic colors like you get in an eight box of crayons. You know, you get the basic colors. So I bought a antique silver, a true red, a royal blue. I don't know if I showed that. And then here's the antique silver. And then a black. Because you can take these colors and make your own color. And then my free one was, guess what? You know what color my free one was, right? That's right. Amethyst, which is purple. So that is it, everybody. That is my haul that I did at the Scrapbooking Expo in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And as I said before, Audrey, it was so nice to finally get to meet you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.